But first, tasty freshly ground black pepper. No pepper steak would be the same without it. And it may surprise you to learn that in recent years, the king of condiments has even outsold salt in the UK. Its signature taste comes from a chemical called chavacine. Its flavor can be extracted through heating or crushing, and a pepper grinder is ideal for the job. These grinders are made out of beech, a hardwood that needs to be dried first. But surprisingly, before it's dried, the timber is sprayed with water. This uniform wetness ensures each piece dries at the same rate in the same way. Big ventilation fans draw the moisture out over about six weeks. And when the wood measures only 8% humidity, it's ready for processing into pepper mills. The first step of the process is to cut the planks down. The length will depend on the size being produced. These blocks will make pepper grinders around 18 centimeters high. The preformed blocks of beech are then fed into another machine which grinds wood instead of pepper. Here, they're given their familiar shape. As they pass back and forth over the spinning blocks, the grinder arms are raised and lowered in set positions. The blocks below are spinning so quickly that the arms grind away any of the wood they come into contact with. When they're finished, the wooden forms are passed over a sander which smooths them. Now it may seem like the familiar shape of the grinder is complete, but there's still plenty more work to be done. This drill hollows out the inside. This is where the fresh peppercorns and the grinding mechanism will sit. The finished bodies are then lined up, ready for some cosmetic work. As well as the bodies, the lids are also fashioned from the beach. This is the part that's twisted to crush the peppercorns of your pizza or fresh lasagna. A similar process is used to carve the lids from one long plank. As the wood is pushed forward, grinding arms move in and shape the lid before a drill cuts the hole for the screw and the final arm breaks it off before starting on the next lid. Meanwhile, the grinder bodies are being given a bit of a facelift. They're loaded onto this conveyor, which carries them to the painting room. First, they receive a fine layer of pigments, giving them a richer, darker color. They're then sprayed with a coating of varnish to protect them throughout their useful lives. A long, snaking journey through the next room gives them time to try before the next step begins. Probably the most useful part of the pepper grinder is the grinding mechanism itself. Modern pepper mills have sophisticated ceramic teeth which grind coarse or fine depending on how they're set. By twisting the lid, the arm carries the circular motion down to the grinders. The ridges or teeth in the ceramic device draw the peppercorns into their grasp, crushing them and releasing the chavacine inside. Ceramic material is used for the teeth because it's resilient and will last a long time. However, this ceramic isn't like the china used to make dinner plates. Mixed in with the ceramic powder is a plastic binder. This makes it easier to work. Inside this machine, it's melted to 160 degrees Celsius and injected into molds to form the shape of the grinder pieces. The finished pieces are forced out one by one. But in order to turn them into the extra tough ceramic, they must now be fired at searing temperatures. This oven heats the parts to 1,670 degrees Celsius. As the temperature passes 360 degrees, the plastic binder is burnt away, leaving pure ceramic shapes. These pieces will remain in here for two days, hardening nicely. Once cool, the pieces are so tough, they can even grind a piece of granite. All that remains is to assemble the pieces ready to be installed in the wooden bodies. A plastic housing is used and the parts are machined together.
the machinery needs to be loaded by hand. So this operator's job is to put all of the pieces into place so the robots can take over. The whole unit is screwed together, ensuring a tight fit, and the job is done. With the strength to crush pure rocks to powder, the modern grinder's pepper-crushing power is appreciated in homes and restaurants everywhere.